Morning, my friends. So today, we finally go to Turkey. We're gonna cross the border today. And uh, yeah, that's the big thing of today. I'm going to Edirne, to Turkey. But the, the other big thing is, uh, is gonna be to see whether my engine still works or not. Well, still works properly or not. And I guess we're gonna find out very soon. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay, so far it's okay. So I'm a little worried because uh, well, I had a big issue with the engine during my last stage. And I contacted the guy who, uh, who sold me the bike and he told me basically if the problem continues I have to find a, a Shimano shop to, to repair it. Well, there are some in Istanbul, but after Turkey there are no more, but at least in this sense, I'm, I'm lucky because there are some in Istanbul and I'm going to Istanbul, so that's it. But uh, otherwise I have to bring the bike back to, the, to the, those who build the bike, to Azab in Czech Republic. So I hope, I hope I don't have to do that because that would be very complicated. Uh, but well, we'll see. Anyway, hopefully the engine works properly. Now I, I clean the connectors. Hopefully that was the only issue, and um, yeah, I, I, I'll get it checked in Istanbul anyway, and hopefully everything will be fine and I can continue my journey. Anyway, let's go to let's go to Turkey to, today, guys. Oh, and I am arriving at the border with Turkey. What the hell? I mean, basically this border is a highway But I thought, well, on the map there is a road that uh, rejoins the highway But obviously It does not really work for me Because basically if I don't come by this border or, it's, or I have to go around by the north And it's one day cycling, it's 100 kilometers detour Otherwise, I have to go back towards Svirengrad, which was the last real city in Bulgaria, go into Greece and then enter uh, Turkey from Greece. <sighs> okay, I'll find a way to rejoin the road. Okay, so I've put my bags there. You see? And uh, I'll try to get my bike on the... <laughs> to go over the... <laughs> over the ditch. On that. Hey, <laughs> perfect! I made it. <laughs> yeah. So hopefully now, what I, what worries me is uh, it's a highway, so. I wonder if the police is going to let me through or if they're just going to tell me well you're on the bike you can't go let's see okay I'm going to repack and head to the border the border is just there I'm going to get my passport <laughs> oh my god so basically on the, on the Turkish side <laughs> they were just <laughs> It reminds me the first time I entered Iran actually. They were just so friendly. Everybody was like, whoa, what the hell? <laughs> well, they still made me open all my bags for the, the customs. And then they were so friendly. <laughs> I'm so happy to be finally to, to arrive in the Middle East. Oh, well, even though I'm still in Europe now. But oh my God, all the officers were so friendly. Yeah, oh, I'm so happy to be in Turkey. <laughs> Finally, after four months, yeah! <laughs> okay, let's ride in Turkey! 
Let's ride in Turkey and as I enter Turkey the arrow is back. Holy moly. That's incredible. Okay, so I'm happy to be in Turkey. But the engine is the same as uh, as during the last uh, stage. On and off all the time now again. And the engine is working again. Wow, what a view on the Edirne! I think it's again uh, an old Ottoman bridge. Okay, so now basically the engine doesn't want to start at all. I don't know what I'm doing because I decided to go on decided to go on towards Istanbul but I don't have food for tonight so, so maybe I'll have some stack here some food here and I'll see if I can find some food on the way some maybe a bit of bread on the way I will see what happened what the hell so correct? yeah and then uh, you have the uh, island? island? Okay. And then. Uh, okay. Tomat. Tomat? Uh -huh. Yeah. Cake, cake. Cake, cake. Yeah, everything. Who is that? Ajit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Ajit, yeah. That's a good Look at that. Mm. Got my food and I found a campsite, a campground, uh, seven kilometers from here. So I decided I'm gonna stay at the campground tonight. My engine still works <laughs> somehow. Oh, I'm so happy. The food was so good. Oh. So great to be back in a country where the food is good. Opera. <laughs> well, that was sure. Obviously, the I don't know why I wanted to to stay in the camping but uh, well obviously it's uh, it's closed we are uh, the 10th of October and with all the Covid and that I guess uh, I mean it looks I mean I guess it's closed not only because it's cold but also because uh, there are no more tourists coming or not many tourists coming anymore the thing is, the camping was nice because I was uh, going to be able to recharge the battery and now I can't do it. So, anyway, probably move, uh, I'll keep going, I'll keep, uh, keep moving and hopefully, or I find a hotel or I uh, just camp anywhere and I will recharge tomorrow. Probably that's what I'm going to do. Actually, it's open! <laughs> Great! It's funny, I was about to leave and, uh, and the woman came out of nowhere and started talking to me in, uh, in German and she told me, no, it's open. It's funny because at the border, the Bulgarian woman talked to me in Spanish, now she's talked to me in German. She's, and this one is talking to me in German. It's like everybody is talking a different language here. <laughs> but they never talk their own language to me. <laughs> well, because I don't understand their own language. Oh, guys, I'm so happy. Look at that. So, I'm charging my battery. Today I used only, only one battery because it was not, uh, well, it was uh, almost most of the time flat. So basically I will pay, seven, I, I, I paid seven euros and a half for, uh, to pitch my tent here to have access to electricity. Huh? Toilet. Oh, toilet, okay, yeah. And there is a shower also. Shower okay, so have it's have no, no shower, no problem. Yeah. Tomorrow uh, shower here, that is hot water. Ah, okay. Yeah, this yeah. is no system, good. Yeah. This ice system, ah. no. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Private. So good, okay. Some people, okay, as you like, are, are cold. Cold, yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe no shower, maybe just. <laughs> okay, that's <laughs> a Yes.
benzin tankçıları yeah. elektrik. Oh, I see. I go, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, you're right, yeah. Fünf lira. Fünf lira? Yes. For uh, how how much time? Change. Uh, Recharge. Full. Full. Yeah. full. full. Five, five lira. Five lira. In uh, in like benzin shops, like. Uh, Shell. Shell. BP. And in BP. BP. BP. Shell and BP. Yes. Five lira for the. Okay. Great. Good. Very good to know. One long some long time. Yeah. Other. Two. Schnell Fast. Full. Oh, they have fast charging. 20 minutes. 20 30 minutes. Full charge for car. For electric car? Yes. Oh my God. So Shell and BP. Yeah. Shell oh, and that's BP. very good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. yeah. Those, <laughs> You more nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Very nice. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna pitch my tent. It's a bit chilly, and uh, yeah, <laughs> and see you tomorrow, probably, guys. <laughs> I love it. She's bringing me a chair. Look at that. so happy that I reached Turkey I mean in the end the last days have been focused on my problems with the engine I mean my mind has been focused with the on my problems my engine problems but uh, now suddenly I appreciate the fact that uh, when I crossed Europe and managed to travel not across all Europe, but across a big part of Europe. And now it's another adventure about to start. The Middle East, oh my God. The Middle East, it's such a great place to travel. Oh. It's a fantastic place. The people are so good. I'm really looking forward to that. Looking forward to discover the the beautiful heart of people from the Middle East. Well, the bike is packed, ready to continue the way to Istanbul. So yeah, it's about uh, 240 kilometers left to Istanbul. Well, to the place where I, w where I want to go in Istanbul to repair my bike. <laughs> Good. That's a good one. Bye. How do you say? Güle güle, no? Goodbye. Turkey. Güle güle. Ah. And du sagst du? Yeah. Allah smiled. Oh, la. Under it. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Allah smiled. Okay. And I. Ah, you stay. Gule gule. Gule gule. Ah, okay. Allah smiled. Allah smiled. Allah smiled. Okay. Allah smiled. Yeah, gule gule. Bon chance. Okay. Merci. I love it. Okay, let's go, guys. Let's go to Istanbul. Let's complete our journey across Europe. With a weird bike, <laughs> only 240 kilometers left, and the engine works so far, and the dogs are barking. Everything is fine. <laughs> yeah, it's cold. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it's okay. I have a. Ah, 
Yavaş yavaş git git. He? Yavaş yavaş git. Okay. But problem problem. <gülüyor> Elektrik. Elektriklidir bu. Ya yeah, ya. Yeah. Yeah. But motor uh, problem. Tamam tamam motor problem şarjı bozuk. Good ya. Yeah. <gülüyor> It's horrible. Ah. It's up and down all the time. It's not steep, but as soon as it's a little bit up, it's so hard. Freaking engine. What the hell? Why people do engine that don't that don't work? Okay, it looks like uh, I reached a village and there is a place to eat, so I'm gonna stop. Because I'm, uh, I'm starving. Oh my God! What a horrible day so far. Oh. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Thank you. Can I have? Uh, what do you have? Rice. Rice. Yeah. Rice. Cook. Cook. Chorba. Chorba. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Can I have some rice? Rice and coffee? Yeah, yeah, yeah one more. For sure, one for one portion, yes, yeah. rice for sure. One portion, yeah, one portion. Coffee? Uh, one portion. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So I have rice with chickpeas and some soup. I rolled like, I don't know, maybe five or six kilometers without engine and I'm completely dead. It's, it's complicated. And now I have the kofta. problem. Ah, energy. Ah, no electric. No electric. Bakın, ona. Ah. So, çatıyı aktarıyorlar. Çatıyı aktarıyorlar. İki saat payt. Two. Evet. Tam bir saat. Two, two, two, two, two, two hours. No, no energy. Yeah. Oh. I was saying, uh, I'm, usually I don't drink tea or coffee, but I think here in Turkey I have to go for tea oh. because yeah. otherwise they're gonna get angry. <laughs> tea is such an institution here. Six five. Sixty five. Okay. Six five. Uh, okay. <laughs> so six euros and a half. Six euros and a half for everything I had. Six five. Sorry, no, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah. Tamam, altmış dolar vereceğim. Six hundred. Yeah. <laughs> I'll say that. Six, five, six, yeah. no, seven, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, that's too much. Five, not ten. Five. Yok, yok. Sixty-five, six, five, six, five. Seven, five. 
At least I am. I filled up myself. <laughs> now I'm full of sugar. <sighs> so hopefully I can get going and hopefully the engine works again. Let's see. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so the engine still does not work. And I'm 200 kilometers from where I want to go. So I'm really afraid I have to do all those kilometers without the engine which will take me quite, well, much, much more time than uh, with the engine. <sighs> anyway, I have no choice, I have to keep going. Basically, I go, I go as fast as if I was walking, and I'm more tired than if I was walking. I'm gonna stop here today, because it's pointless to continue. With, uh, without engine, I'm going at like uh, 7 kilometers an hour average probably, or 8 maximum. Uh, so I'm gonna find a place to stay here. And then my plan is gonna be to try to rent a car tomorrow. Get the bike in the car and, uh, and head to Istanbul to get it to the Shimano service so that hopefully they can fix it so I have the impression that uh, today could be my last ride for uh, quite some time I guess because I have no idea how long it can take to to fix uh, this uh, electric engine but it's really frustrating what can I do? <laughs> <laughs> 